Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back to do some more tags. Um, you'd be happy to know I've got them all cut out, as you can see. And I've got some fabrics here and there, and I even found some of these, which I wouldn't mind using up there from um, Ephemera. So I might even put that in there. So I've got a bit of fabric here and there that I want to use. Be nice. So, here we go. Look at this lace. Isn't that pretty? Cut out little roses and stuff. So, there we go. Now, so, this is what this one's like. All finished up. We'll move this along. So, I've got one of those. And I want to get the um, pansy going. So maybe the pansy can go on a smaller one. I think the bigger one might be a tad big. And a bit of purple here. That's why you keep all the leftover bits. That really pretty purple. Hang on a minute. Got that here. This purple. Which is beautiful. Okay, so... Some of that off. I'm going to put this away so we can get little bits of that. And then I've got some of that yellow as well. Here we go, a little strip. So I want some darker purple, yellow, and then, then lighter purple. Pretty. And that sort of goes in with those. And this one here, I was thinking, it needs a button. So, I'm thinking maybe a blue one. Just on there. A few colours. used to put buttons on all my things and now I haven't been doing it for a while. Either a purple and a blue or a... darker blue. I don't know. Tiny little one. Maybe a yellow. This yellow might be nice too. Hmm, that might work. Yeah, we'll just leave that there and inspire ourselves. Now I'll get some of this light purple. much do a couple of layers okay what can we do too I found some of these so I will move them along here we go move these along with my book and put my little mat in the middle Okay, really enjoy making cards. Might use some of those other papers and do some um, like envelopes or pockets. Oh, these aren't quite big enough. Ah, well, I'll have to work. Okay, now I've gotten, I might use some oxide. A bit more chalky. Because it's on um, vintage paper, I do want to darken it up a little bit and get rid of some of that white. Okay, now. Is this glue? Okay. Get 
Ocean purple, yellow, and purple. Sometimes you can have multiple colours. I think I might even sneak this one. Quite a, a cool day here today. So, out in my studio on a Sunday afternoon, doing something for just for the love of it, which is nice. Sometimes you're just going out here, um, you know, because things need to get done, but really love making tags, it's quite relaxing. Maybe need to move it over a tad. We have the yellow. Love these fabrics. Yep. Sometimes one is enough, and other times you just need a little more. Like I say, it's always about the layering. So, darker purple, lighter purple, and yellow. I like it. Now. Quiet. Sorry, guys. Get a bit like that sometimes. Okay. So pretty. Fancies sort of remind me a little bit of faces. Might get rid of some of that bottom as well. Just got some of that fabric. There we go. And then I've got a little bit of edging, which I might use the vintage photo. I've got a new one, the other one was looking pretty feral. doesn't take long for things to stick there we go oh so pretty now I'm just wondering I think it's got enough on there it probably doesn't really need anything else yeah. Some of the bigger ones. So I'll put them on here. And I'll put these buttons on. Grow up a little taller. Nice. 
what you think you've done sometimes and I was thinking oh, you need something else some buttons are always cute now this actually needs a bit of a tab so I'll just use this one make it a tad smaller There we go. And then I'm going to probably put a button, I'll put buttons on there at the end after they've been sewn, like I've done with that one. Pretty. So there's that one. Okay. Yeah, that needs a bit of jujie on the back as well. A bit of light. Okay. Next one. Okay. Maybe we do a little one. For some reason, they do a little smaller, and I don't know why. These ones I cut out with the machine. Get rid of this. Glue sticks on everything. Okay. Now. What have we got? Something little. Sometimes it's just the little things that you need. On the small ones, just a bit of fabric and the pictures is enough. And the bigger ones, I might put a bit of a bit of lace. Okay, it's like a fairy little caterpillar. This one. Now. Um, might go around the outside with the vintage photo. And then on the actual picture, with the distress oxide. Just to brown it up a bit because it is a really old paper the white just doesn't look as good okay. when everything's pre-done it gets done rather fast which is good And you know what? I'm not going to cut off those bits because I like it. Sometimes it's okay to have bits hanging over the edge. Better take the glue off though. Don't want it sticking on anything. And then we'll just brown them up. There we go. Now we need a tiny little, tiny little bit. 
maybe a little bit of green. this colour. Slowly running out. We need to make it a tad smaller. It is only a small tag after all. I think I've got enough blue on the front. So I'll have to fix that. Green and yellow always look nice together. There's a bit of green in there. Okay, there we go. Now, what else do we have, eh? What else? Do you like this lace? I think it is pretty. Um, I really like this. I wonder if we could have a couple of flowers. The yellow and the red. I think that may work. I like that might go on that one. I like that one. I'll go on there. This is probably suitable for a little one. Get them all started. Um, there. And then some of these extras can go in on the sides of one. So I reckon like that can probably go there. And then that one can go on the side of another one. Maybe there. I think. But okay. But I do like that. I think that is rather pretty. Okay. Kept it for the stories by Emma Marshall and you won't even get to see it. Point of it all, is it? I do really like that. But I'm going to have that on the top. I need a bit more of the red and the yellow. So this is a bit more of the vintagey fabric. I'm just going to have on the side here. Like those. What do you think? Or just have no fabric. Don't have to have fabric in all of them. Quite like it without it. Well, for starters, 
Tu les appels. I reckon we don't have the fabric. Just on the top as a closure. But we have a bit of lace. Be so careful. There we go. And it's either this one. Yeah, I'm just going to chop off one for myself here. Well, I do rather like that. Ugh. And we have something a little finer. Myself. It's very quiet. Quiet outside. So I'm going to chop this off and then come back in with it in a minute. Do a little bit of a roundness. That looks like it was always like that. And then you can always put it in a little bit later. So over the top or something. Around the neck. Now. Wondering well, that's a bit of sacrilege cutting up these babies, but you know. I am thinking of having just a tab. Of that. So we have a little bit of this fabric sticking out at the top here, maybe. Or we go with what I originally had and do that. It's always. the tab and we can always go like that I think that's probably going to work but I am going to cut this across so we haven't got that bulk and then I'll use these for some other tabs okay what we need to do first of all is Grab some paper. I just love this paper. So beautiful. Okay. The only thing is, because it is so old, when you put glue on it, <laughs> All the years of smells tend to come out of the paper and it's not pretty. 
Okay. Clean up this glue again. Give it a bit of a roll. It's wanting to roll sideways. And before we stick everything on, I need to give it a bit of an ink. So it will draw up the ink beforehand. soak up the ink rather nicely okay there we go once these are sewn too they do look beautiful okay there is that my little my little tag Maybe going along the top okay but lace tab thin Rather than wasting these pretty pretty blooms, we might as well use them. They're gonna look nice. And then that will go in there like this underneath. So pretty. And you're not even be able to get this teeny bit because it does need something in that corner. This is me being pedantic, but glue does tend to stick to everything. 
come up. Good grief. My catchphrase. There we go. Okay. I'll make sure that that goes over the top of it rather than underneath it. Oh, that is beautiful. It's going to look gorgeous with sewn. Sewn all the way around. Pretty, pretty. Okay. We're in business. Now. No. I think we need another big one. Mmm. When you've actually got a theme you're working with, it makes it really, really nice to make tags because, you know, you just cut out everything, have it all ready to go on, ready to go. bit on the bottom and that teeny bit on the top there okay give it a bit of a roll <laughs> and before I stick anything on I'll do a little bit of shooting really coming along This one, this one, this one. I think we need to close this. I do prefer to use vintage photo. Okay, now, and this one. Looking pretty. And I'll do that one next. Whereas this one. I do like myself a bit of a daffodil. And then I've got a cute little butterfly to go with that, which is nice. Be really careful because you don't want to rip the actual papers. Okay, now with the yellow, with the yellow, what are we going to put? We're going to have this going on one side. I think so. Then we almost don't need fabric on this one. Good grief. It's glow. Does not help. coming over there like that yes that 
daffodils are a real they just remind me of spring they seem to be the first things that come out here in Australia in springtime Now, I think either that or I've got a bit of that glue left, small glue. Side, I think. I don't know the paper was pretty. Yep. Or, or just get out the blue. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you just need blue. Well, I've got a couple of other blue, so I might save that for there. And there we go. Bit of blue. There we go. Okay, bit of zhuzhin. Doesn't take much effort to get it to go fluffy. a bit too fluffy okay. Oop. Stay. The story of my life glue bottles always dropping Purple, and I think it might even be a tad long. There we go. And I need a little bit to hold it down because we are going to sew. Okay. So this blue probably would have been nice on that one. Yeah. Oh well, hindsight's a beautiful thing. Now, cut that off. Anything else? No. Nice and simple, but I think that is enough. That's for sure. There we go. Have to do a bit of sewing in a minute. Okay. bit of Australian culture in there. I think, what did I say that it was? It was the South Australian flower, but it might have been the Western Australian. Oh, I don't know. One of those. Okay. Um, yeah. Some more of these. Pretty done. They actually fit. Amazing. Toxic. I suppose it's got 130 years of fumes and whatnot from everyone's houses stuck in the paper. Ugh. 
just a bit on the nose. This is going to be another one that really doesn't need much behind it. Do they go up or down? I think they go like that. So I might have the green, the green top. that no no just the piece hey a bit of sari silk oh I love hearing the birds outside it's been a bit cold today but it's not raining at the moment. They're probably out enjoying the weather. Okay, now. Just going to stick that on there. just ordered myself some more sari silk from this awesome website that one of my fantastic subbies recommended to me here in Australia which is really good but you know it's good but spending money but I'm starting to run out and I got those this and the other one I got from India so if I can buy it locally, what's, it, what's the website called? For in Australia, it's Which Craft Do You Do? That's the name of the website. So um, I bought some, um, yeah, a few bits and pieces. I'll do a bit of a show and tell when I get it. Oh, that looks rather nice. Now... How many have we got left? We've got a couple left. This one really needs something behind it. I think I'm going to have to get a bigger piece. Maybe if I can do it one, one that way and one that way. Yep. So we'll do that while we're here. And then once I've finished sticking this all down, I'll pause it and then sew and then show you what it looks like. Because sewing really does make a difference. It brings it out. So all these beautiful tags will go throughout. And I might even use some of that other stuff other book pages to make pockets I think. Would mind having a pocket at the back. Okay. Oh jeez it sticks. Okay. Put that down there. So we've got three small ones. Should have three small ones, three medium sized ones and three big ones. So there's the third small one. I'll have to have a look. Probably hiding somewhere. Yeah. 
just makes it a bit thicker to work with. quiet again needed to come out and do some crafting today I don't know about you but I've got two teenage boys oh bless them I'm probably you can probably relate well my oldest one is 20 turning 21 so he's not really a teenager but you know still got the attitude he's just staying with us at the moment he has moved out of home and he's just moved into another place and asked if he could stay come home for a couple of weeks not because he loves us because um, his job requires internet access and he can't get it put on for another couple of weeks so as you do as parents <laughs> nice to feel the love of you know him wanting to come home because he cares for us but no just wants the internet <laughs> oh kids gotta love them now yeah. Okay. I'll cut that and move it off there. Yes, yeah, so it's been one of those interesting things. Thought I'm gonna hide away in my studio. Have some time out. When you're the only girl in a house full of boys, you just need some your own time. Yeah. And that's how it was when I grew up as well. I'm the youngest of 12 and I have got nine brothers. And my sister was the oldest, and then a brother, then a sister, and then me on the end. And I don't even really remember my sisters being at home they got married when I was about four so I grew up with all the boys so I do know how boys work and God knew what he was doing when he gave me boys but some days they can be challenging now okay Where's that one? It's going to go in here. Because I've probably got some other bigger ones. Yeah. Have I mean camera guys? Does that go in there? Because that may be. I do like that little butterfly. It's very cute. Even just have that going on its own, like that, with a bit of glue. That might work. Oh, that's pretty. Like the other big one, I could probably double up some pictures. Hey, yeah, I think so. Have that on the top. I like because that is rather beautiful on its own I think me thinks me thinks now some of this beautiful blue oh how awesome does that go with that hey I'm going to use some of that okay but it needs some of this Needs a bit of that blue as well as that pink. And I'm going to have it going all the way up the top. One end is bigger than the other, so I think I'm going to have to cut it. Hmm. 
Maybe a little beak. love the colors in irises they're so beautiful and vivid all flowers are beautiful but we have our favorites mine is lilies not that they but these aren't particularly the nicest in the picture but i love white lilies it happens to be that my name means white lily but they smell so beautiful christmas lilies oh beautiful okay yeah Okie dokie. I'll put these over here a little bit. Maybe be able to just do it on the edges of this one because it's a bit more solid. Now. Okay. A bit of a glob happening there. There you go. Maybe going over time, and it may be a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but while I'm on a roll and I'm chatting with you guys, having a bit of time out with my beautiful friends, really has been such a lovely community of people really um, have made some nice friends over the internet some of them are subbies and you know they're communicating back and forth on the internet and they're just so lovely really gotten to know some of them like Sandra hey Sandra how you going they're really quite nice and Amanda from Queensland always giving me lovely comments like all parts of the world I actually had some Etsy sales one from Denmark and one from Germany like it's just amazing how this community of people you would be so far away from each other and it's amazing how the internet can bring the world together like that I'm starting to sound like an old person it was just unthinkable, all these things, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s. Well, late 70s, early 80s. But, um, you know, it's all part of part of how everything is here. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, what are we going to have on the top? I reckon I'll go another one of these lace things. Yes. Yep, it's happening. And we go across that way. And this time I'm going to put it at the back rather than at the front. How pretty is that? I like it. So nice. There you go. Now, this little guy, he's going to have a strip of blue. And what I'm going to do is something a little different. have it going all the way over to the top and then just tucking underneath so it becomes the strip as well as a tag because 
because it's so small. Let's see how it works first. Have these ideas in your brain, but you know. Ugh. Oh, these jolly things. Okay. So that's going to go to there like this. All the way over. And then Saves me the trouble of getting a tab and then I'll sew it and that'll be stuck on. Now this is a little bit left over. Move it over this side a little more. Okay. Sometimes you just need the littlest bits. Just to make things pretty. I'm wondering, do I put that on there? Yes or no? What do you think, people? Hey? Or along here? Underneath? And pull that down just a tad? I reckon. Just adds a bit of bit of interest. Now cut that off here. Cut that off there. And have this. Move down. Almost looks like a little bit of a spider's web. There's a lot happening on this poor little tag. Okay. How we are we going for time? Oh, 59 minutes. Well, that's probably the longest video I've ever done. Okay, well, I'll pause it and I'll quickly put this one together and sew and then I'll come back. Okay, back again. Done a lot of sewing around it. I'll have to show you and I'll put some buttons on them. So I'll give you a quick, quick look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. That was the last one I did. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. That's the first one that we made the other day. And these little ones. They're so cute. They turned out really rather pretty. End up taking these bits off. And this one, that looks really, really pretty with the lace and everything on them. And that one. So there you go. I'm very happy with it. Probably the, the longest video I've done to date. But they do look so pretty. And they're going to look gorgeous in my journal. So for the next one, I'll probably uh, maybe make some pockets or whatever to go in it. 
and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for your, your patience at watching all the way to the end if you did. Thanks, guys. Bye.